Hey sweets, what's up? The Hardy Airy here and I'm now officially in Florida. Um, yeah. So I've been here for about a week now and there's not a whole lot to say. I haven't really done much um, since I've been here um, out of like normal living stuff. But it's rained pretty much every day that I've been here. I think it even rained earlier today. Um, which is weird because it's raining more here than it did whenever I was in Seattle for a week last January. So maybe it's just like the season or something. But there's so much rain here in Florida. I don't understand how we got the Sunshine State as it's like thing. Because it's sunshiny today, but it is. I've seen more sunshine in Missouri this September than I have this October in Florida mm. so that's a little bit to adjust for also I um, moved down here right after the whole hurricane thing got over with Hurricane Irma so there's like a lot of allergens <laughs> around and my allergies kicked in so hardcore the moment I got to Florida like holy cow I've never taken so much allergy and cold medication in my life. I got so sick when I got here. It was miserable. Um, yeah, <laughs> I was not ready for that at all. Um, I mean, I'm used to having allergies when I travel or whatever because I do have a lot of allergies. Um, and it's just a matter of uh, my body getting used to it and me figuring out how much allergy medication I need to take in each climate. But I also got a cold <laughs> like within two days of being in Florida and that was insane and I was watching the news recently and it turns out that a lot of people who are like native to the area are having this problem because of all of the hurricane debris which is just like I feel like there's something that we should be able to do about that because you don't want like nobody wants to be miserable enough the entire population of Florida is being miserable maybe science should get on that or something um so yeah I'm just a little bit baffled by that like so many people are having this problem and they're not offering any solutions if the I've been in Missouri they'd be like they'd at least offer like a solution um along with that story like take more allergy medication or get on cold medication or go see your doctor who can tell you what to like they would at least give you something uh some kind of advice to help that go away and it just <laughs> then I was like take a cold shower at night to at least rinse off that's that did not get out my allergies I'm allergic to ice so like the fuck um <clears throat> so yeah um, but yeah, there's not a whole lot going on. Oh, I bought a car uh, a couple days ago. Um, but I think it was Saturday, so today's Tuesday, which is why this video is going up really late again, because like, I'm not quite adjusted to uh, not being at my summer job anymore, and my schedule, like my mood has been very off lately so yeah I'm recording on Tuesday which is why the video did not go up at 8 30 this morning <laughs> um but yeah Saturday I went and bought a car with my mom uh it's a Kia I'm pretty happy with it and today I'm getting ready to go to the DMV to switch hopefully cross my fingers uh switch my ID over to Florida which will be very helpful and what I want to accomplish here in the state of Florida. And there's somebody walking by and staring at me, so that's really weird. Because um, I have my window open for lighting purposes. And I know the lighting's not great, but it's definitely better <laughs> than some of the lighting options I had in Missouri. So, <laughs> I'm getting better. Um, I probably won't edit this video just because I recorded it today and I'm talking pretty fast and I just, I feel like this video is going to be decent quality without editing. Also, I'm still trying to figure out oh, what editing software to use. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, so that's my life right now. 
uh, I get a car. I live in Florida and I have no job <laughs> other than YouTube and obviously I'm not making any money off of YouTube because I'm like one of the smallest YouTubers ever and Adpocalypse is a thing. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's where I'm at in life and I just kind of wanted to update you guys on that. Like, I finally made it to Florida. I know my last video I said I was going to Florida, and you, next time you would see me, I would be in Florida. And here I am in Florida. Uh, like I said, I've been here for like maybe a little over a week. I've been here for a little over a week, but yeah. <laughs> so, that's, that's a thing that's happening in life right now. Um, I live in Florida, it's kind of weird. Um, it's weird living in a city. Uh, the last city I lived in was Kansas City, and it's a completely different culture in Kansas City, Missouri, than it is in any city in Florida. Um, like, th the whole state is a fucking city, and it's weird. Um, yes, there are rural areas, but they're very far a few between, and they're not very... <laughs> Whereas, like, all of Missouri is rural, except for, like, the big cities. So, that's a thing I have to get used to. That's kind of crazy. Um, I'm not used to this city life. I kind of like it, um, but I kind of also hate it. People drive here insane. They're crazy. Like, nobody here knows how to drive, and it's, like, the weirdest thing ever. Um, nobody cares if they wreck here, it seems like. Like, so many people run red lights too that like I, I'm pretty sure guys if I ever get in a car accident here in the state of Florida it's gonna be because somebody else ran a red light and hit me no joke like I've seen so many people run red lights and it's I've talked to somebody who lives here and who has lived here for quite a while now and they say yeah that's just you don't go right when it goes green um and you just deal with the people honking behind you because you don't want to die and that's just like a crazy concept to me uh like why why do people here not care and why do people here not just try to drive well also road rage is such a thing here now i am fine with road rage i have road rage myself and even in missouri i had road rage so like i can deal with road rage but the amount of people who have road rage and the way that people do road rage here is ridiculous. It's so, like, it's so much. So much. We were driving the speed limit the other night and somebody was driving behind us and they kept flashing us to try to make us go faster. Of course, me and the person I was driving with are also road rage type people and so that just made us slow down because we were in absolutely no hurry. <laughs> Which is me most of the time. I'm never in a hurry, so whatever. But we were driving and we slowed down because 45 is the speed limit. It's not the minimum. It's the speed limit. You're supposed to be going 45 in a 45. You don't go faster than a 45. And you're allowed to go slower than a 45 in a 45. Like, it doesn't mean go 45. It means don't go over 45. So we slowed down to like 40. Not a big deal. And pissed them off there. Flash, 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 flash. And then every time they flashed us, of course, that just made us slow down even more. Because, again, not in a hurry. And it's not like heavy traffic where, you know, maybe the person behind us is trying to get somewhere. And, like, us being slow is putting them down. No, we're all... There are three or four lanes of traffic. And there's nobody in the other lanes at the moment. It's just, like... Yeah, maybe one or two but like there's no reason that you could not go to the right or to the left of us and pass us so finally after about 10 minutes of them trying to flash us and us just slowing down even more and them being a jackass they passed us and the chicken passenger seat was like goes out the window which i've done not gonna lie i've done this before too but it's usually like for one it's usually in a tinted window so you can't see me and for two it's usually like you are actually being an idiot and fucking up my life 
not I could easily have gone around you way before this. So, it, I don't know, it just irritated me. Um, so she was like... As a uh, person was driving by, and so I was like, yeah, bitch, I can do that too! <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I have road rage, and people who have road rage make my road rage worse. <laughs> uh, so that's the thing, I have to get used to the fact that other people have road rage. And so I was actually talking about my road rage the other day, because... I have road rage. I'm, I'll admit it, like, I'm a road rage type person. That's the life I live when I'm driving. Um, but any other part of my life, I'm like a super calm human being. I, like, I'm so hard to piss off. I just, I try to love everybody. I am one of the people, who, few people in my life who I know that can have, like, a conversation about things that would normally piss somebody else off. And here I am just having a conversation about it. Um, probably pissing the other person off because they don't realize how calm I'm being because a lot of times it's not in person. Um, but, yeah, I tend to, that's the thing. Anyways, um, but it doesn't piss me off. And so, like, I can do a lot of things and it, it takes quite a bit to get me angry. There's, like, three things that can pull me into an anger streak really quickly and other than that I'm just like a pretty like peaceful person uh until I start driving and then when I start driving I can go from hippie to bitch in like less than 0.1 seconds it's ridiculous like I just get overcome with anger and rage <laughs> it's really bad I remember the first time I got really bad road rage I was on my own street in Missouri and we were like going up this hill and at the bot, like, there's a turn, and then a giant hill, and if you go this way, you're gonna jump off a cliff. So I was going up that hill, and there's this group of kids, being morons, standing in the middle of the street on a fucking mountain, and guys, be smart. And so some of them moved over, and this other chick did not, and she, like, stuck her hand out as far as she could. So I honked at her, and then passed. Um... And there wasn't a lot of room to do that without hitting her. So that was impossible and hard and scary. And what the fuck? There is a cliff behind me. I don't feel like rolling into it. So, uh, yeah, I honked. And that was no big deal. Like, that's not very road ragey to me. But whatever. And so then, um, <clears throat> I we had our windows done just a little bit. Just enough that I could hear this chick screamed. I was like, don't you look at me. And I was like, <sighs> rolled my window down and screamed so much so that it hurt my throat to do this. And I was like, don't stand in the middle of the road and try to hit my car and I won't fucking honk at you, dumb it. <laughs> like it was bad. I don't know if those are the exact words I said. All I remember is like the anger at that she had said that and then like my throat throbbing and like I lost my voice after that for like 10 minutes and so yeah road rage is a real thing for me and I don't know how this video went from supposed to be a five minute video of me talking about hey I'm in Florida now to road rage but yeah road rage is a thing that I'm gonna have to get used to in Florida because of it everybody has it and everybody expresses it so strongly like I have road rage but I don't ex usually most of the time I don't express it to where the other cars know <laughs> I'm more of a just a yeller um yeah that's the <laughs> my road rage isn't usually super strong I don't normally honk at people or whatever but people here do like that's a normal thing and so that's <laughs> I gotta really get used to that. Even, like, as a passenger, I really need to get used to that because I can freak out. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that's life in Florida. I haven't really been here long enough to have any, like, updates on my life being any different. Uh, so, maybe, um, something will happen and I can do another video. Uh, I do want to do my I Hate Small Talk series but nobody has really uh, has said anything that they want me to talk about or anything like that and uh, every time I come up with an idea it's like 
one o'clock in the morning and I can't really record at one o'clock in the morning because I share a house with other people who sleep at one o'clock in the morning and also I'm I have neighbors who would be able to hear me who are also probably sleeping at one o'clock in the morning and then the daytime comes and I completely forget so yeah that's where I'm gonna end the video because this video is super long and I'm not editing it because your girl don't have time because I'm getting ready to go to the DMV. Um, so yeah, that's my life. Um, and talk to y'all soon. Leave some comments down below as to some things you want to talk about in my I Hate Small Talk series. The Hardy Yeri. What, 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 what?